Um, I'm here to testify into the record a clear and accurate discussion of the medical facts about pregnancy and what is taught in medical schools. It is a fact that is ignored uh, by the abortion uh, supporters that medical schools require a course called embryology in which the textbook teaches that life begins at conception. Page one of the textbook called The Developing Human by, written by Dr. Keith Moore, published in uh, second edition, published in 1977, says life begins at conception. Dr. Bradley Patton's textbook on embryology, written before Roe versus Wade, said fertilization is the beginning of the life of a new individual. Uh, it is clear that science teaches that life begins at conception. Uh, the term viability has been discussed, and Senator Pody mentioned that. There are actually two uses, two very different uses of the word viability when it comes to pregnancy, when you look at it from a strictly medical standpoint. Viability uh, it comes from the Latin word vita, which means life. Uh, the assessment of viability of the unborn child can be accomplished as early as four, five, or six weeks. Uh, using sensitive hormone tests that were not available in 1973 when Roe versus Wade was decided, and using ultrasound technology, which was not available in 1973 when Roe versus Wade was, was decided. Medical science and ethical responsibility holds me responsible for providing care for not one person, but two people every time I see a pregnant woman who has a viable pregnancy. And when I speak about a viable pregnancy, I mean one that is alive, not one that is not a person because it is still dependent upon the mother's body, but one that is alive and distinct and unique because it has a different genetic complement than hers, completely different. A unique individual that has never existed before and will never exist again comes into being at the moment of conception. Viability of the early pregnancy is a diagnostic assessment that is made possible by the use of hormone tests and then ultrasound to determine the presence or absence of a heartbeat. If a heartbeat is present or prior to the point where heartbeat can be visualized, if the hormone levels are increasing appropriately, that pregnancy is considered viable. That child is considered viable from a medical point of view. And I am responsible as an OBGYN to provide care for both people, not just one person. And the, the dichotomy between what I am required to do with my patients and what Roe versus Wade allows abortion providers to do is, is irreconcilable, in my opinion. Viability of the early pregnancy, that's a diagnostic assessment. Viability as used in Casey versus Planned Parenthood is not a diagnostic assessment. It's a prognostic assessment of whether or not the child is sufficiently advanced to survive if delivered, whether or not there is a chance for continued life upon <laughs> delivery. Mr. Bowles, you've already gone a minute over. If you could try to wrap it up. Um, well, thank you. I, I appreciate your indulgence. Um, but medical science is clear. Uh, it is very clear. Life begins at conception. The viability of that life can be determined as early as four weeks. Um, and, and we're responsible for what we do with that. 